Are you on the hunt for artwork that fits within your budget? Do you have large expanses of bland walls that are calling out for a bold, bright hit of color? Well, have I got a simple idea for you, and it involves you as the artist. Now, don't get scared because it's actually very, very simple. The first step, this is an easy one, and fun is to take a visit to your local florist or green grocer. Keep in mind the concept, the theme, the color palette of your room and then select a number of blooms. You only need to get a couple of blooms of each variety that you're interested in photographing. That's what the next step is. Now I like to photograph them against a bright background with the sunlight streaming in. Next step Get out your camera. You don't have to have this type of camera. You could use a digital camera or even a disposable camera. You just have to remember to set the exposure for the flowers and not your bright background. Next step, start taking photographs. I'm looking for the bumblebee aspect on these flowers. I just want to kind of dive in and get in really, really close and low. I'm looking for details of each bloom on its own. When you get your prints back, you can sort through and decide which ones you like best and then you can order enlargements. What I've done is I've had eight by 10 inch enlargements made of some of these photographs. Then I went to a local home supply store where I found ready-made frames for less than $20 a piece. I went to my local frame shop and had them cut mats for me with a uniform size opening centered in the size of the mat. I've gone for a seven and three quarter by seven and three quarter inch square, which gives me a little bit of flexibility and allows me to crop my photographs, depending on exactly what you want to see. I think I like it like that. The next step is to turn your image over and then use some linen tape, which is found at craft supply stores. You just peel it off the backing. Oh, I wish I had nails. You can attach the piece of tape to the back of the photograph and then just rub it gently against the mat. You'll notice that I've only put a small tab at the top of the photograph on either side. And sometimes people want to tape all the way around the perimeter of the photograph or the piece of art to securely hold it in place. That is actually a no-no. You want to just put one small piece of tape because this way, if there's any changes in humidity or any shrinkage in the image over time, this allows it to expand and contract without buckling all around the edge. Just something you might want to keep in mind. Now, you can admire your terrific matting job and then you can set it in place. You'll want to clean the glass before you put your mat in to make sure that there's no dust and then admire your handiwork.